please note that this video contains spoilers. Put off by how long this video is, don't worry, I tend to jam-pack my videos with as much content, as many details as I possibly can, and I try to talk pretty fast, so while the video is a bit on the long side, I don't repeat myself, and I get into a lot of details about the subject that, you know, pretty much anything that I feel I can comment on and that I think you might find interesting. Royale, Director's Cut, Movie, Thoughts. So I will just admit up front that I'm not that familiar with Asian cinema, so I... There's a bunch of it I don't understand, and in general with, you know, Asian cinema, when I watch it, there's a bunch I don't understand. Yeah, I suppose I should just get some of that out of the way. I don't quite understand why the teacher suddenly comes back to life, and then, you know, talks to his daughter, and then dies, you know, after eating that last cookie. I don't know. And the why why he had that painting of you know everyone else dead but her still alive. I don't know, I I did get that there was some sort of you know connection between the two. She was the one who didn't skip class but was maybe slightly late I think, and you know she had that dream, and then suddenly he's in the, just right there and he hands her an umbrella. Yeah, I have no idea. I'm also not entirely clear on how they got the boat. I don't know. I I realized they couldn't fight down the military, so you know we don't have a scene of them you know gunning down you know, trained military with assault rifles, you know, who have assault rifles. So, um, but yeah, I don't see how they got the boat, especially if it was supposed to be like you know they weren't supposed to get away from there without the help of the others. But yeah, anyway. I really like things like, you know, all these little love triangles and this, you know, the, I, I can't remember the names at all, but the one in the yellow jogging outfit with, you know, are you in love with anyone? Yes, I'm in love with someone, but it's not me, is it? And the, you know, would you please stay here with me? even though it isn't me, and you know, and that bit about, you know, that other guy who, you know, wants to, you know, like, force himself upon her, and, you know, that whole thing, it just, you know, that, and, and the, you know, so, sort of, he has been in love with her for a while, and now, you know, suddenly they, are in this situation and you know it, it sort of in, in general the situation kind of brings out their innermost nature maybe you know also how you know I, I like the bit with Keiko I'm mispronouncing that horribly and something Sakawara something I apologize to everyone who knows any Asian language Especially for just calling them Asian languages. Anyway, yeah, the the couple who, you know, they were about to die because the 72 hours had passed. And then she shoots him and he shoots and kills her and she sort of smiles. You know, that whole bit with sort of, you know, because for a little bit you're you're thinking along with him. When it, you know, at the end there she was willing to kill him to save herself. And if she did, can can one really judge her for that? You know, it's 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 the self-preservation instinct. That's incredibly strong. But then, you know, afterwards when she smiles, you do sort of realize, you know, like I say in the review, an incredibly tightly packed film, you know, within a f just a few minutes you have all these different impressions, you know. But yeah, then she smiles because she d did die first and he made it out alive. So, you know, I think that she shot him so that he would shoot her, killing her. So that he would make it out alive. And that, you know, she would, 
yeah, she, she was basically sacrificing herself for his life. You know, that was a very sweet and very smart little bit. And, you know, I liked how the supposed easy girl in the class, you know, she sort of, you know, you, you get this, these couple of lines, this exchange where, you know, that other girl is about to shoot her. And it's, you know, this thing, you, you go out with all the guys, but you still had to steal my boyfriend, you know, that thing. And, and then it becomes, you know, because suddenly she has a loaded gun and no one is there to stop them. And in, indeed, they're encouraged to kill each other. So, you know, what else would she do in that kind of situation? And then later we see the, the supposed easy girl having killed these two, you know, naked young boys. And, you know, she's, she's sort of, you know, we see her finishing up, finishing dressing again. And... You know, you, it's, it's incredible, it's, it's entirely open to interpretation. Did she actually have sex with them so that they would lower their guard and she could then kill them? Did she force them to strip? Maybe they came thinking they could rape her and she forced them to strip and then kill them. Maybe she almost had sex with them. Maybe, you know, she, she lured them, she, she got them to take their clothes off first and she was taking her clothes off herself, then she kills them, and then we just see her putting her clothes back on. You know, there's, it's entirely, and, and it's sort of this, you know, regardless, she almost falls back into that stereotype. We don't know if she actually did, if, if she actually was easy. You know, it's just this sort of label that she's gotten. You know, I'm, I'm just going by the film. You know, maybe it is supposed to be interpreted as her being easy, but... We don't actually see her. She never actually admits it. She never says, yes, I had sex with all those guys, you know. And I'm just thinking, you know, a lot of times it's just sort of, maybe that other girl was just jealous, you know. But, you know, the two boys, maybe they also thought that she was easy. And so they either thought that they were allowed to rape her or they, you know, thought that they could at least get with her. You know, they could just, you know, ask for sex and she wouldn't. So, yeah, there's, there's so much, it's, it's so rich, it's such a rich single shot, you know, also because, and that's, you know, something I'm sure everyone in, everyone in the audience noticed, especially the men, they were not just killed, their groins had been mutilated. See, I couldn't even say that without, like, you know, swallowing first, it's just, yeah, so you have that sort of thing. So maybe she had been easy, and it's sort of you know, and 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 it it ends with her. It's it's sort of it leads to her. I don't know, sexualizing her violence or making her sexual life violent. Yeah, yeah, something like that. You know, one thing I did think. I liked almost everything with the slightly messy-haired psycho, but two things. I like that he, you know, the bit about he goes back and grabs his bag, excuse me, I guess that was, you know, the one that had the sword in it. Okay, so the sword was his? And they gave him his own weapon in a bag. Did he know that? I guess, you know, with him saying, that's my bag. Did he know what, which bag it was? If he didn't know that it was, you know, if it wasn't his sword and he didn't... Yeah, yeah how did that whole thing work? Why did he grab that specific bag? Was It didn't look like it was marked specifically or anything. And yeah, that whole thing. And the now one could also choose to take issue with the infinite amount of you know clips and ammo he has for it whilst that other kid just uses his gun you know once and then you know or 
he, he spends one entire clip, you know, firing at Uzi Kid, and yeah. Now, yeah, also on that scene, in that scene, they've just hacked the system, and they, you know, they're going to attack with this, you know, sort of, I guess it's sort of a thing on that, you know, Yeah, I don't, I don't, I honestly don't know. I don't know why their attempt at overthrowing it was stopped at that point. You know, why it wasn't that they at least, you know, got into the situation where, you know, they're, I don't know, bombing the school building and throwing Molotov cocktails at the army. I don't know why it didn't get to that point. You know, if you do... Yeah, you know, please help me out. I, I honestly have no idea. And I think that with their having just, you know, engaged the hacking, I don't know, it feels to me like that didn't go anywhere. And I don't know, maybe I'm looking at it with too much of a Western perspective, because I do love this film. I'm not saying, but, yeah, it just, it feels to me like they didn't really need to be doing that, because it didn't seem like it did anything. I don't know, did it give the, you know, Sakawara, whatever, time to figure out how to turn off the the things? I, I don't know, did he even know that it was hacked that, at, at that time? I don't Yeah. And, you know, I don't know, you could maybe also argue that that's a little bit of a cop-out that, you know, oh, we figured out how to turn them off, you know, I, I don't know, I guess his father was an engineer as well. I liked the, yeah, you know, the the various. There there are several scenes that sort of explore trust, you know, especially in this sort of scenario, in this specific situation, where you know maybe these you know students did more or less trust each other. Before, I don't know. No, probably not. You know, not not that much at least. And and again, now that they have guns, they're not complete trust of each other, you know, the, the fact that they don't, they wouldn't really, you know, think about it. it. It was already a sort of power struggle, and there was already a lot of intrigue and problems in this class, obviously, as there is in any class. Well, most class, I don't know, most classes, at, at least in that sort of age range, before the deadly weapons were introduced. And now that the deadly weapons have been introduced, it's just an explosive situation, you know, and the scenes like the, the lighthouse with, you know, the girl who saw the, the death of, I think, Oki was his name, and she thought that the boy did, you know, kill him. And so she, she's afraid for her safety. And again, self-preservation instinct. And what does she do? She she you know tries to poison him but you know because of the sort of you know it's it's i don't know it's maybe a commentary on just dangerous weapons you know it's similar to how the, the scene with oki is another you know it's it's actually an even more impeccable example he comes at someone else charging with a deadly weapon and it ends up killing himself, you know. It's it's a sort of it's it's yeah it's it's a commentary on just the you know if you have something deadly and you're just waving it around like you know just flailing it around and not taking care with it, it is you know it's it's just as dangerous to yourself as it is to you know the people around you or at least potentially so, and so because the girl isn't careful enough, and we can, you know, we can understand why it gets to, you know, into the wrong person, and she actually effectively ignites the explosive atmosphere of, you know, be because they, 
felt comfortable for that brief time. You know, the Uzi had been thrown onto, I don't know, the submachine gun at least, had been thrown onto the table. You know, the guns weren't out. These girls had agreed to an alliance. They had agreed not to kill each other. But suddenly one of them falls dead. And it's, you know, everyone at that point is wondering who did it. You know, and not everyone is equally, I don't know, e equally paranoid maybe, equally, equally scared in that situation. Everyone is wondering, and the one person who does know does, never speaks up. And she's actually, you know, that's, that's the great irony of the scene. She's the only one who survives that entire encounter. So, guns are drawn, you know, once one person has a gun, another pu pulls a gun because they want to try to defuse the situation, and the gun makes them feel more safe. And so, you know, and, and then these tiny little, you know, the, these already existing conflicts bubble up to the surface and again, it, it completely explodes. You know, you have that sort of thing of, you know, this person is just already tense because, you know, she hasn't slept for three days, you know. And then there's this other person who, you know, and, and there, one of the girls resents one of the others for taking on the leader role, you know, and you have this sort of, so, you know, maybe that was two alphas, and, you know, for a little while, one of them won, and the other resented that. Or, maybe it was a beta, or even a, I don't remember, zeta, something, you know, near the, the, the bottom ranks, who resented not being in charge, you know, being at the bottom of the rank. Maybe the leader girl was already sort of the leader of the class, and some of the others resented that, you know, and you have all these things, and again, once the emotions just run high, and once there are guns involved, it's just, yeah, it's not going to end well. I also, you know, the... I think the suicides are also very effective in the film, you know. Right after that sequence, you have that one girl committing suicide because, you know, she accidentally poisoned one of her friends and she got the whole group killed, you know. And so she th throws herself out of, you know, off the lighthouse. Yeah, and, and also just, I love the editing of that. I love that you don't see her jump, but that you just, you see her run up the, you know, stairs, I think. Or was that him? Anyway. And then, you know, he runs up and looks down and he sees her down there, you know, with all the blood. And the, you know, there are a couple uh, others who, you know, I think at least one of the couples are, like, in love with each other, and they are insistent on not, you know, killing anyone else, so they commit suicide. And I think that also sort of, you know, I mentioned in, my, in the review, I read this as them, you know, once you enter the adult world, you do, it, it is a cutthroat competition for the best job, the best pay, and, you know, all this stuff. And these are two that just were not up to that kind of competition, and so they give up. You know, and obviously, I don't know, you know, in real life, they won't necessarily commit suicide, but they will kind of, I don't know, resign themselves to a very low-paying job, for example, or something, you know. But it is this kind of, because not everyone has that sort of killer spirit to them, you know. Not everyone is, you know, that anxious to compete. That might be more or less what I wanted to say. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.